it up. Laughing game. First off, congratulations because all the recessions of all the magazines going down and the coming only back one. up. Thank exactly. You. And, a, and you know. Black on right here. Shouts out to you know the king making a comeback. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shouts out to Vibe making a comeback, and for the ones that stuck around, smooth and show. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, that's that's you know that's powerful in mm. where we're at right now because My, it's not easy. Why is it that you were one of the only ones standing? Basically, understanding the market. I mean, we're in distribution. We we know the magazine game, and you know, my father is like one of the leading distributors in America. So okay, we understand where not. Not to spend the money, not to overgo, you know, over, you know, overstep ourselves as far as, you know, uh, budgets, and we not, you know, don't be flossy right now. You don't need to be flossy right okay. now. Okay. People, you know, the, the lights are getting turned off out there. You know, people's coffee makers are shutting off right now. We cannot be flossy. <laughs> yes. Okay. So have the Maxwell House instead of the Columbian for a change. Leave the Starbucks alone. Yeah. Exactly. I just wanted to still ask you how long you've been in the game, far as Black Men's Magazine, and then switching the transfer over to um, Urban Inc. Black Men, I've been eight years. Wow. Black men's is known for being like, you know, bikini clad. And it's hard to sell, you know, the, this type of material to advertising. Uh -huh. You know, you imagine you're trying to sell to the Gap and the, the head of advertising is like a six-year-old white woman. You <laughs> yes. know, she, she's looking at you like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. You know, and plus I don't look like that in a bikini, so now I'm jealous. <laughs> And so, you know, I had, to, I had to add some elements to it. I mean, I do have a fashion background. I used to work with Trace Magazine, worked on the Krog Ganitsky and, um, and uh, Pierre Cortez, who used to design for um, Jean-Paul Gaultier. So that whole background, I felt like it came into a play as far as marketing the magazine as something different, you know, because eye candy is all over the place, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can come up with an eye candy magazine anytime, but it's going to be hard to find a fashion editor who wants to work for an eye candy magazine. They don't mm -hmm. strive to do that. Mm -hmm. So. I said, well, this is what's going to separate black men from every other eye candy mag that comes out there. And, you know, that's why the lane is open for everybody because everyone has their niche. And, you know, that's one of my niches that kind of makes me stand out. People know that your father is a, is one of the biggest dis distributors. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, so they, they kind of think that's you. You started with Trace, correct? I started, actually, I did something with Hype Hair that, with Monica, the singer, and then, that, which led to working with Arista Records, Clive Davis, mm -hmm. and then I don't know if you remember the group Next. Yes. Yeah. But the love. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was their first. I did their first project. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. And after that, um, you know, I got recognized by Trace Kloganiski. Checked me out, and I uh, started working with them, and then um, moved to LA, and then Universal Records brought me back to New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from that point, the advertisers were looking to do some things with black men outside of the advertise, you know, outside of their normal market, and they needed a change. Mm -hmm. So basically, I image consulted the whole entire magazine to where it's at now. Are you scouting for models, or or is it more than that? You have a production company now. I have an image consultant company called TSD, which is Talent Scout and Development. Um, it's pretty much just um, seeing a, a hole in the game where a lot of models were getting getting in magazines, getting in videos, becoming party hosts, and that would last for probably no more than a year. Where you, where's your career after that? After you've mm -hmm. done At Target. the magazine, <laughs> the party, the video, what's next? So um, we Id identify what it is. You're not going to do runway, so take the word model out of your career because you're not going to really model. <laughs> yeah. um, and start looking into things like commercials where, you know, they use reg regular looking people, you know, okay. people that are not runway, that are, you know, start acting. Start following your career. What's the best selling cover for you? Claudette Ortiz. Oh, okay. Wow. City High. Okay, she but she, girl. she destroyed it. Like I said, Stone's my man, and I'm like, yeah. and I heard of your name, and then I heard the name. You know, some people probably don't know who you are. Yeah, yeah, no it's doubt. It's like, yo, 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 hating on me, and I was like, wow, oh, come on, a kid. magazine beef, okay. First of all, we don't do that. One, two, you know, first of all, I love that man like that's my big brother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I just find it funny. I mean, he's saying it was some he say, she say business with, with some and models. I say, you know, no one, no man should allow a model to interfere with his business. Wow, yep. Even if another man says something to a model about me, I would not care. <laughs> Because that don't move my money. That's regular motive, though. That you know what I'm saying. But you know, when when gen when when men gentlemen have to understand that 
you know, that don't mix. You know, okay. you don't don't get into anything, you know, where a model gets involved with your business, especially when you're networking with another boss. Okay. okay. And when he had his words to say, I called him direct, boss to boss, and said, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And we handled our situation like two men, and we kept it moving. Is it hard to stand there and look at these women and be completely professional? It's not really hard to do it, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't walk into the game. I didn't pick up, you know, my game to meet girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not why I was here. I mean, when, when I first walked into the game, I thought, you know, I just swore that I was going to be doing something else. Black men just kind of came into the picture. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I do what I do. I'm an image consultant. You know, I put together product that sells. Mm -hmm. And I can do that for toothpicks. You know what I'm saying? So at the, end of, at the end of the day, you know, black men is just one of my clients. That's just somebody that came in and came into the picture and wow. let me do what I do. So nobody just walks in and you like, dang, son, I will wife her. Like, I don't you? know about wife, maybe wax. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a real dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm looking at it, but it's, just, it's how you react. Yeah, but it's you, business, you gotta be professional. Exactly. We also was talking behind the scenes that you have some movies coming out. You can check out on blackmendigital.com. Uh, we would just innocently on the set of a photo shoot and uh, happened to, you know, I'm doing wardrobe, doing my little thing thing. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> Hoops has her, her back all the way out with Ocho Cinco, you know. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> How's she doing? Who? Hoops. Hoops is doing good. Okay. Hoops is doing nice. She, got, she has two movies. Can you stop trying but to catch Check snatch? it, check it, check it. So, you know, I look down. They, they hanging from a, a wire scaffold. Wow. I look up. They locked in lips. Whoa. Whoa. Hoops, Hoops is grabbing nipples. <laughs> Right. Lip lock and or I an Ocho like, Cinco or well, Ocho, yeah. She grabs his nipples. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting, so I'm sitting here going like, yo, what the hell? What y'all doing? Cut. Cut. No, no, no cut. cut. No. <laughs> my, my team is smart. They kept shoot clear. We busted. Everybody busted out the cameras. Wow. So, <clears throat> yeah, pretty much, I got you know, I was, I was catching footage, and I was like, I ain't never gonna be able to show this. And he was like, you gonna post that? Did you? And I was like, sure, why not? So I posted pictures. But the video? Wow. X rated? So you don't you don't have to happen to have that in that vest pocket. My nice vest pocket. How y'all going? Y'all you, got the footage? You, you, you can't show that to no. We have a nice TV right here. Um got thank you. Shout out to the Uber Lounge. Y'all gotta log on. <laughs> wow. Kimberly is actually on the cover of Urban Inc. this month with um Urban Inc. Inc. Wow, um, I see her too. Who is yeah, that? look at that. Who else is that? Birdman and that's the Birdman. Us. Jesus, he have How enough tattoos. Shoot? Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. How so? I like it interesting. Nice. It was nice. Um, Hold on, it went from interesting to nice. <laughs> <laughs> two different words. Totally different. It was a like, long day. Let's just put it that way. Um, I got you know to meet Cubana Lust for the first time, and she's okay. just phenomenal. Um, very talented girl. Huh? And um, you know the shoot, it, it went well. You know Marcus being the fashion that he is yeah Marcus knows his together. stuff yeah it was great it was great so we had so much fun in that shoot because mm -hmm. uh, we started out shooting the girls uh -huh. and then we look outside and we see two big tour buses what's that baby yo <laughs> the photographer's studio was in a cul-de-sac Okay. I'm like, I know you're not trying to do a U-turn up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to basically take the whole photo shoot over to, what's the name of that? It was a studio that they were recording at, Patrick Studio in yeah. Atlanta. So we had to take the whole, we had to pack up equipment, <laughs> backdrops, wardrobe, makeup and hair, everything, and take that all the way down. <laughs> Take that all the way back to Patchwork and redo the whole photo shoot wow. at Patchwork. Thank yeah, you guys like, so much for coming through.